Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Urban Aviary. Uh, I wanted to shoot a quick video and show you guys um, what's going on with the quail and the aquarium indoors, give you an update on how that's going and a few of the things I've learned along the way, so stick around. Okay guys, here we are. I think it was three weeks ago that I put this little project together with the quail in the aquarium. Um, I said I was going to try the deep litter method where I just put a little bit down of the shavings at the beginning and then continue to add a little bit more each day uh, to layer it and you know not have it get used so heavily and doesn't stink so bad. But turns out they just you know scratch and dig and it doesn't really matter because uh, they just kick it all around and mix it up. So the deep litter method in this system doesn't work all that well. It's starting to stink. I mean, if you ever take the top off, you can smell it in there, but now it's starting to stink bad enough that you can just smell it when you walk into the room. It took three weeks or so to get that bad. Uh, so it, it took a while, but I still don't recommend the deep litter method. Uh, from what I've experienced so far, it's... Um, going to be better to just clean it out frequently, put shavings down, and once it's used up, uh, scoop it out. And I just put them in a bucket, a five gallon bucket. I got some of my microgreen dirt in there too, soil in there. But I'm going to get it cleaned out. I just wanted to give you guys a look at this real quick before I was done. Also, so the water I've got down here, sorry, it's kind of dirty on that front glass. That's another thing is you need to clean the glass frequently if you want to be able to see into there or want it to look nice because they do you know kick poop all over there and it gets dirty but it's easy enough to get some Windex in there and spray it on the inside and wipe it down um, but the other thing is the waterer and the feeder get kicked around like this all the time and when it's this deep stuff like this you see how deep this is there's a lot of crap in there too that they've mixed in they've kicked it around pretty good but like this this is where the waterer is sitting and they'd burrow and dig around it and then sometimes it gets blocked and yeah and then I'm sure there's tons of eggs in here I haven't been able to find because they lay them and then kick sawdust and cover them up and the feeder gets knocked over all the time and yeah so we're not gonna do it this way anymore but that kinda brought up some issues I hadn't thought of or anticipated but that's why I do this is so you guys can learn from my mistakes and do it right the first time this is the other reason why the deep litter method isn't good 18 eggs I found while sifting through all that bedding uh, to throw it out. I, I found 18 eggs in there. So they cover them up and bury them pretty quick. I was worried for a little bit that their egg production had gone down for some reason, but they're getting plenty of light and all the other things they need, so that's uh, what I suspected the problem was, and that's what it was. 18 eggs. Oh, that's so much better now. I cleaned that glass off. You get all that poop and stuff they've been throwing around everywhere cleaned up. And just used a solution of apple cider vinegar and water and it cleaned it up really nicely and they seem to be a lot happier now they got some fresh sawdust to be kicking around in and dust bathing in and this is what I use to clean it uh, just a solution of water and apple cider vinegar I fill it up to just this bottom line right about here with apple cider vinegar it doesn't need to be apple cider vinegar vinegar is fine just regular vinegar and just you know fill it up the rest of the way with water and the reason I did that is because it's a good all-around cleaner but also um, it starts to smell in here because of the ammonia that builds up. Quail, feces, and urine has a high high level of ammonia. And um, this is not only a good cleaner, the apple cider vinegar, but it also neutralizes the ammonia and helps with the smell. And that's part of the reason I like the apple cider too, is it, it gives a, a bit more of a, a nice smell to add to it and help cover up that uh, ammonia smell and the quail feces smell. And then this is what I use to clean everything out with. I keep my shavings down here, my new shavings. But then I just use this scoop right here, one of these feed scoops. And I just scoop all the shavings out while they're still in there. They just kind of move to one side of the cage while I do the other side. And then I just scoop everything up on this side and they move to the other side. It doesn't seem to bother them too much. And then I just scoop them into five-gallon buckets and I take those out and put them in the, the compost pile. So yeah, it's working out pretty well so far. I encourage you guys to give it a try. 
Um, if you have any questions on this setup and how I'm doing it, feel free to shoot me an email, jaren at urbanaviary.com, J-A-R-E-N at urbanaviary.com. Remember, you can check out the new website also, urbanaviary.com. A lot of cool stuff going on there. Also, you can check me out on Instagram, follow me there, and on Facebook. We have a new Facebook group, having a lot more people um, asking to, to join the group, which is really cool. We've got a lot of people on there doing some cool stuff. It's, it's grown slowly but surely, and I encourage you guys to get on there and start checking out what everybody else is doing and uh, maybe get in touch with some like-minded people. So that's all there is for today, but until the next video, remember, you guys can do this too.